Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for March 27th of 2024 is titled the Coma Cluster of Galaxies. So what do we see here? Well, here we see galaxies. And in fact, everything you see here, or at least very nearly everything you see in this image is a galaxy. Now there may be a few scattered stars there, but almost everything is a galaxy of one type or another. Now this is a galaxy cluster known as the Coma Cluster, and it is one of the densest clusters of galaxies that is known to exist. It contains thousands of galaxies, and each of those galaxies contains many billions of stars, just like our own sun. Now, what does that mean? How many different stars are we looking at here? Well, it's a practically uncountable number, as we can imagine many trillions of stars scattered among these various galaxies. And when we look at clusters, and we look at clusters of galaxies, this is how galaxies group together. Now they didn't start out this way early on galaxy clusters have built up over time and galaxies are becoming more and more clustered together. Now it's not something that we can see changing because it's a very slow process like many things in astronomy. It does not happen instantaneously, but will take a period of time. But over many billions of years, we've noted that galaxies seem to cluster more and more together. So it tells us something about galaxies and how they've evolved over time. Now, when we look at a galaxy cluster like that, we see that many of the galaxies, especially towards the center, are elliptical galaxies. So elliptical galaxies tend to be located near the central portions. And if you look around the edges here, we, then we start to see the spiral galaxies. Now, why does that occur? Well, likely the denser cores require more collisions because there are more galaxies closer together and that would cause galaxies to collide together more often, which would destroy their spiral structure. So the spiral galaxies tend to remain towards the outskirts of a cluster like this one. And that's where there are fewer collisions. So galaxy collisions very common and how galaxies have evolved over time. However, we see here that where what types of galaxies we see and what part of the cluster you are in can help determine which galaxies are most likely to be present in that area. Now, how big is a cluster like this? Well, this cluster is actually millions of light years across, meaning that it could take more than a million years for light to travel from one edge of the cluster to another. Now that's still very small compared to the distance to that cluster, which is hundreds of millions of years. So as we look at what does this cluster look like today? And we don't know except that it probably looks a lot like we see right now. However, the light that's leaving it at this instant as you hear this podcast is still going to take more than 100 million years to reach us. And at that point, we would be able to know what the galaxies looked like on this date. And that's very uh, typical in astronomy. We never see anything as it is exactly at that instant. Light takes a second or so to, to get to us from the moon. Eight and a half minutes from the sun can be years for some of the more nearby stars. And when we get out to galaxy clusters, we can be talking hundreds of millions of years and then billions of years for the most distant galaxies. So here we see today the coma cluster of galaxies, a large, very dense cluster of thousands of galaxies. So that was our picture of the day for March 27th of 2024. It was titled the coma cluster of galaxies. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be millions of stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.